And away they go from the 1600 meter marker. 32 Squadron has been ridden out to go right up there in the early stages. Mumsy's Jets now off to the lead. Golden Fort is right there at the rail back in third position. On the outside of that one there is Fantasy Art. Ricky Ticky Tano's along the rail being passed now by Last Tiger. And then comes Run Rhino Run who would like the speed on. Six lengths off the leader. Then Panga Panga and Rio de la Plata's the trailer. Royal Armour's also getting up there. And it's Mumsy's Jet the leader. 32 Squadron is second and then comes Golden Ford. Last Tiger's wide out on the outside between the two of them is Fantasy Art. And then comes behind that one is Run Rhino Run. Further back in the field is Panga Panga. And it's Mumsy's Jet that leads it. Golden Ford. Then 32 Squadron, Fantasy Art, Royal Armour. It's quite tight up front. Ricky Ticky is near the rail, five lengths off the lead. Further back is Panga Panga, Run Rhino Run. And then Last Tiger. Top of the lane, Mumsy's Jet, 32 Squadron, Ricky Ticky is going through down the inside. Towards the outside, Run Rhino Run, Royal Armour. Getting to the 200 now, it's wide open. Ricky Ticky Golden Fort's a big runner. Run Rhino Run's also starting to warm up. Last time Tiger on the inside. Yes, Run Rhino Run with a big run on the outside. Run Rhino Run comes on powerfully. Run Rhino Run down the inside of that one is Last Tiger. Run Rhino Run, I say, won it from Last Tiger and Ricky Ticky Tana. Right, let's back back into it. I think Run Rhino Run. It's Last Tiger on the inside. Run Rhino Run comes on powerfully back in the care of Lazan Forbes. Last Tiger, Run Rhino Run coming down to the line. It's close. Last Tiger, Run Rhino Run as they came down to the line. And it's Run Rhino Run. The nod of the head, one out. Last Tiger second. Ricky Ticky Tana runs third. Let's go for fourth. Golden Fort involved there with Fantasy Art. So it's heads up, down. Golden Fort probably from Fantasy Art, Panga Panga, Royal Armour, 32 Squadron. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. So we'll look at that head on and you'll see Run Rhino Run comes on powerfully number seven, the Silvano. Really kicks on. On the left is Last Tiger, Golden Fort, Ricky Tikitana. But Run Rhino Run number seven is just going to make it home at 890 and 280. Tote favourite number five. Back to the studio. Well, we've just seen Run Rhino Run live up to his name and he's come through in a pulsating finish down to the line. And you started off with his career, two wins, and he's back in your care. This was your big boy from the beginning? Yeah, Sheldon, um, it's a very emotional win for me. Um, this horse uh, did start off with me as a baby and, you know, he, he was sort of the crown jewel of the yard and it was very, very sad when he got sold and left and I'm eternally grateful that he has ended up back with me. Um, he's a very, very special horse. He's, um, I know he's been difficult and he, he had gone off the rails a little bit during his career, but um, he's a sensitive boy. 
Um, and yeah, I think that he, he just needed his confidence back. Um, his first run back for me, he ran second. He was only just beaten. Um, then first run on the poly, he ran a, a very nice race as well um, in, in good company. And then his next start, he um, was in an 1800, which I think he's ready to go further now, but um, ended up in a bit of a slow field. He jumped so well, he ended up half a length clear of the field and he just couldn't get cover. Um, you know, I watched that race over and over again and Alec was sitting, looking around, hoping for something to come around and there, there just wasn't anything. So he over-raced, um, he got a bit tired and, and after all that he still only finished four lengths off. So, um, you know, it's very nice tonight. This race came up nice and quick. Um, we sort of put him back in the 1600. I said, you know, just back to the drawing board, get him in behind horses, settle him, you know, and then do his best work later. And I mean, we were we were really rewarded here tonight. You know, big thanks to uh, Roy and Mumsy and Gordon, and you know, ongoing support. They're lovely people to train for. They they really also they've let me do my thing with this horse. I've had no pressure, um, which always makes a trainer's life much easier. You know, um, big thanks to Alec. He does a lot of work on the horse. He knows him well, and um, yeah, it's 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 so nice when it just all comes together like this. You're not going to sleep tonight, so enjoy the th evening. Oh, believe me, Sheldon, I will. You know, we, we're treading water at the moment with these uh, Friday and Sunday race meetings and very early mornings at track. You know, it's flat out all the way. And, of course, you know, I've got a little one at home now. So um, I, even after night racing, I, I, it doesn't matter how many winners I'm, I go home and I, um, I get a, as much sleep as I possibly can. Well done. Thanks, sir. Let's get Alec Forbes into the picture. Now, you know, run, run, oh, run. He's a quirky fella. The pace would have suited? Absolutely, uh, Charlon. You know, he's always looking. He's just looking for a decent pace. Doesn't have to be flat out, but just a true pace. And uh, we had that today, and he was settled, which I think was my downfall last time. I had no cover, and I think he just over-raced. Um, so today, they went quick, and I was in at the back, and um, he found it. He, he loved it, you know. I turned for home, I switched him out, and I had so much horse. And uh, I actually hit the front too soon, but there was just nothing around me going well enough. And I think that um, had the inside horse been near me, I would have been able to, to hold him off a lot better. I don't even know if, uh, I don't think my horse even saw him on the inside over there. But uh, a win he did, and uh, very, very well done to Lazan. She's done an amazing amount of work with this horse and a really good job. And uh, thanks to, to Roy Mumsy and, and Gordon. Well done. Thank you very much. Let's get Roy Moodley into the picture here. Run, 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 the son of Silvano. Now, of course, you had Mumsy's jet in the race as well. He faded out. But run, 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 he's always had that ability. Definitely. You know, it was a good horse before, but now it lost his form as he's coming back into shape. We had a nice pace setter. We used Mumsy to set the pace. <laughs> and at least we got one win at last, you know. Well done. You're going to enjoy this moment and you're going to watch this replay over and over. I have to watch this replay. Because I was wondering what happened to Mamsi's jet. So I think they gave Run Run or Run a chance. Well, well done. Enjoy the moment and all the best. Thanks to the trainer and the jockey also. I think the jockey played, uh, played it very well. He switched it. And when he came to the straight, I think he let it go. If he ran it like he normally runs uh, Run Run or Run, I don't think he should have made it. But now he changed his stance and I think he ran it from the back and it won. Well, well done. done. Thank you. Well done to all concerned. Number seven, run, run, oh, run, and a pulsating finish has put his nose down.